Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Takancha trailer wiring harness here in our 2019 Ford Explorer. So this is basically what our trailer wiring harness is going to look like installed. The only thing we're really going to be able to see is our trailer connector here. And we do have a couple options for mounting that, which we'll go over later. But right now we just have it secured to the hitch tube here. It's going to be a nice convenient location so we can get in with our trailer connector. It's also nice and secure as well, so we don't have to worry about it moving around. So this is going to provide us with the industry standard seven blade style connector here. And this is primarily going to be used on our larger trailers that have an electric brake output circuit. So if you do have a trailer with a seven way, you're going to need this seven blade style connector here. It has a number of different circuits, including the most basic ones that power all of our trailer lights, such as the running light circuit and the stop and turn signal circuits. We're also going to have a few more circuits here on our seven way. We're going to have a reverse light circuit, which mind you, a lot of our travel trailers aren't going to utilize. We're going to have a 12 volt outlet circuit, which is going to charge the battery on the trailer if we have one equipped. And then finally, we have our circuit for the electric trailer brake output. Although that our trailer connector and our wiring harness here have the circuit that allow us to run the brake output, we still need a brake controller as well. Now we have quite a few different options for that. But if you're looking for the easiest to install one, we don't have to worry about drilling into our dash. You're going to want to go with the Kurt Echo, which you can see we have here. It's completely wireless, and we do offer this here at eTrailer. It simply installs like this, pushes in, and then you plug your trailer connector in here, but that's it. So in regards to installation, it's actually going to be completely plug and play. We're going to be utilizing a factory tow package port here on the vehicle. So we don't have to actually worry about any splicing or doing any additional wiring. It's definitely something you guys can install at home by yourselves. Let's go ahead and give you guys a little bit of help now. So the first step of our installation, we need to locate the vehicle's factory tow package port. That's going to be over here on the passenger side, directly behind our wheel, sort of in this little area here. We're going to see two factory connectors. We're going to have a white one and the black one. They're both rectangular. We're actually going to be using this black one here. So what we need to do is, there's going to be a tab here that we're going to depress. And once we depress that, we should be able to pull it down in a way and release it. Just like that. So before we plug our connectors in here, I'm just going to be taking some dielectric grease here and just coating the inside of our pins here. That way we don't have to worry about any lighting issues with corrosion. The step isn't required, but it is a good little bit of preventative maintenance to help prevent any issues down the road. So now we can plug our two connectors into one another. It's only going to go in one way here. Pretty simple. You want to push them in to hear it click into place. And there we go. So now we need to go ahead and take our wiring harness here. We're going to route it over to the trailer hitch where we're going to be securing our connector. In order to do that, we're going to have some existing wiring harness here we can tie onto, and then we'll probably just tie it to the hitch tube as well with some zip ties. They come in our kit, so we don't have to worry about getting any extra ones. However, just keep in mind in this area here where our exhaust is, we want to be extra careful here that we secure it properly so it doesn't fall down and become melted here by coming in contact with our exhaust. So here we got our wiring harness ran and secured. As you can see here, I'm just tied off to the existing wiring harness that we have here using our zip ties that you can see. And then we have it ran up behind our bumper here over the exhaust. And we have it secured to the hitch tube here, here, here. And then our final zip tie here. As you can see, it's nice and secure now. We don't have to worry about it falling down, dangling, hitting the ground, or coming into contact with our exhaust. But once we have everything secure, we're going to take the end here that's taped up in electrical tape and we're just going to begin undoing that to reveal our circuits. So now that we have all of our circuits revealed here, we're going to begin pinning them to the back of these black plastic connector that comes in our kit here. They are going to get inserted a certain way and you need to pay attention of the order you're putting the wires in. it will be a nice easy to follow diagram that comes with your instructions. But this larger white one to start out with it's going to be installing in this larger circular connector, making sure we have it inserted the right way. Just simply push it in like so. We should hear it click into place when we have it successfully secured. 
Well now we'll just go ahead and repeat that same process for our other wires here using the diagram in our instructions. So this is what it should look like when we have everything hooked up. Now we're gonna take our locking tab here, and just sort of insert that through the wires there. Maybe a little difficult to guide in there. Place it in there, push these two tabs down to lock it in place like so. So now once we have our connector wired up, we can go ahead and secure it to the trailer hitch so we can install the actual trailer connector to this. But before we do that, you're gonna have to figure out a way to mount it or secure it to the vehicle or a trailer hitch. Now for us, we got lucky, we're using a draw tight hitch which comes with this welded bracket here. Therefore, we actually only need to purchase one additional bracket that looks like this. However, if you don't have this welded on bracket to your receiver tube, no problem at all. You can purchase another bracket, a no-drill bracket that has a band clamp it wraps around the trailer hitch. So therefore, most likely, you're just gonna need two additional brackets here. They don't cost that much either, and we do sell them here through e-trailer. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna secure this bracket to the bracket on our hitch tube, and that's what's gonna secure our trailer connector. So now that we have our mounting bracket in place, and then our trailer connector connected to that bracket, we're gonna take the pigtail at the rear here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. It's gonna be a good idea to, again, coat the pins here first and make sure you don't have any issues with corrosion down the line. And there we go. Now I'll probably use a couple more zip ties just to secure the remaining wiring harness we have. And now that we have everything hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our seven pole tester here so we can check all our circuits to make sure they're working. Now if you don't have one of these, we do sell them here at e-trailer or you could obviously just use your trailer. So now we're gonna go ahead and get in our vehicle here, test everything out. We've got our headlights. Brakes, left turn, right turn, and then you should be able to see the 12 volt circuit active as well, but we don't have a brake controller hooked up right now, so we can't show you that light. So now that we know all of our circuits are active, that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Deconcha trailer wiring harness here on our 2019 Ford Explorer.